Hi folks, we're going to take a look at uh, one of these really ugly chain rule problems that I uh, promised you. Okay, so just so that you know, I did put this in landscape mode because this is going to be quite a long answer. Okay, having said that, I am still going to do this problem all in one step. Okay, so the trick to dealing with these questions that might involve many uses of the chain rules to really focus on one function at a time. Okay, because this is a composition of a composition of a, you know, who knows how many compositions. Okay, the idea is to focus on one function at a time. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to look at here is I just noticed that I have some expression under a cube root. So in other words, some expression to the exponent of one third. I don't care what this expression is, I just know that it's to the exponent one-third. So notice how we're starting from outside and we're going to move inward. Okay, so this whole expression here is my u. Okay, so I've got u to the one-third. That's the only thing I'm focusing on now. So what's the derivative of u to the one-third? Well, it's just one-third times u, which is this whole thing here. Okay, cosine squared of ln x minus e to the root x. Okay, one, two, sometimes you got to work at making sure you have enough brackets there to the, well, one-third minus one is negative two-thirds. Okay, so there's my first application of the chain rule. Okay, so now I have to take the derivative of this u with respect to x. But what I have to notice here is I have this cosine expression that is squared. Remember that that's what that exponent 2 represents, is this whole expression here being squared. So now this whole expression, the cosine of the logarithm, ends up being my v. Okay, so I just think of this as v squared. And the derivative of v squared is just 2v. So my next part is 2 times v, and v is just cosine of ln of x minus e to the root x. Okay, so now I have to take the derivative of this v function, which is cosine of this expression here. Okay, so I'm going to make this expression inside the cosine my, well, I guess I got to go to w. So what is the derivative of cosine of w? It's just negative sine w. So I'm multiplying by negative sine of w, which is just ln x minus e to the root x. Okay, so now I have to take the derivative of this w. So in this expression w, I see the logarithm of some expression. So this expression here will be, well, I guess I gotta, let's call that p. So I have to take the derivative of ln p, which is just 1 over p. So I'm multiplying here by 1 over, and p is just x minus e to the root x. Okay, and now I have to take the derivative of p with respect to x, this expression. So derivative of x, nice and easy, just equal to 1, minus, now I have to take the derivative of e to the root x. Okay, so I need to make this expression I'll call that q. So the derivative of e to the q is just e to the q. So e to the root x. And finally, I think I'm taking my last derivative. I multiply my q, which is root x. I'm sorry, I multiply by the derivative of root x, which of course is just x to the 1 half. So that's just 1 half x to the minus 1 half. Okay, and make sure all your brackets are closed off. And so here we have it. We have to use the chain rule one, two, three, four, five times. But the idea here was to think of this in chunks. First, it was just some expression to the one third. The next one was some expression squared. Take the derivative of that. Then it was sine of some expression. So take the, sorry, cosine of some expression. The derivative was minus sine. Then it was logarithm of some expression, so 1 over that expression. And then lastly, the derivative of that input to the logarithm. 
Okay, so that's it for this one. Enjoy it. By the way, if you want to practice these, you can just make them up. Just make up some crazy function and just go ahead and solve it. And you could always check your answer with a uh, derivative calculator. And I should mention here that I would never ask you to simplify something like this. The idea is just to see whether you know how to apply this uh, chain rule when you have multiple 